Do you have an image on your Android phone or tablet that you wish was mirrored the other way around as though you're looking into a mirror? Well, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can do that. Most people use Google Photos to view, backup, and edit photos on Android, so you might think you could just open up Google Photos, tap on the image, and tap a button somewhere to mirror it. But sadly, Google Photos doesn't actually have a mirroring option. But don't worry, there are actually two reasonably easy ways that you can mirror an image on Android. If you have a Samsung device, the built-in gallery app on Samsung phones and possibly some other brands of phones has a mirroring feature. So if you have a Samsung phone or any other phone with a gallery app, you can just tap on the gallery app to open it up. And once you're in here, find the photo you want to mirror. So all the photos you've taken on your phone should be in here. So you'll just need to tap on the one you want to mirror. Timmy wants to mirror this image of a Tech Time with Timmy mug. And now, once you've opened it, this will all look a bit different depending on the gallery app of your phone. Timmy's using a Samsung phone, so if you're using a Samsung phone as well, it should look exactly like this. But if you're trying to do it on a different brand of phone, this might not be possible, or it might just look a bit different. So you might have to look around a bit for the buttons Timmy taps on. But when you're in here, you'll just need to tap edit down here or some sort of edit button somewhere else. And now on a Samsung phone, there's these different options down here. And this one is a mirror option. So if you tap on that icon, now the photo will be mirrored. So as you can see, everything's flipped around the other way. The shelves are on the other side and the handle's on the other side, and the text is backwards. So you probably don't want to do this in an image with text in it, unless the text was backwards and you're trying to make it correct. But anyway, once you've mirrored your image like this, you're ready to save it. And there are actually two options here. You can tap the save button if you just want to save the original image, so you no longer have the other original photo that you took. You'll only have this mirrored version. So if you want to do that, just tap save and it'll be done. But if you want to keep the two copies, so you have a mirrored one and a non-mirrored one, you'll just need to tap the three dots down here and tap save as copy. Again, this might be a little bit different on your phone if it's not a Samsung phone but there should maybe be a save as copy or save as button somewhere. So once you find that, you can tap save as copy and now a copy will be saved. So if we go out of this back to all the photos, you'll see we have the original photo here and the mirrored one. So that's really cool and that's all there is to it. Now your image has been mirrored and if you normally use Google Photos, the new mirrored image should appear in Google Photos and back up to the cloud straight away. So even if you normally use Google Photos, you can come in and use the built-in gallery to mirror the image like this, and then the mirrored image will just show up in Google Photos. But if you can't find the mirroring option in your phone's gallery app, or if your phone doesn't even have a gallery app, like a Google Pixel for example, there is another option. On your phone, you'll just need to open up the Google Play Store where you install apps and install an app called Snapseed. So you just need to tap up here and type Snapseed and tap search. And you should find it up the top here. So you just need to tap install. And now just wait for the app to install. It shouldn't take long. And now, once the app is installed, you can open it up like this. And now, in Snapseed, you'll be able to mirror a picture. So, as you can see, we've got this plus button here. So, you just need to tap on that. And it will ask if it's allowed to access files on your phone. And obviously, you'll have to allow that in order for it to work. And now, 
you can choose the photo you want to mirror. So this part might look slightly different depending on your phone, but it should be fairly similar. It will show you the recent photos you have taken here. So this is all Timmy's recent photos. So if you've just taken this photo you want to mirror, you'll probably find that photo somewhere here. But if you want, you can tap on the menu here and go into images and then you can tap on camera or messages or WhatsApp or anything like that. Go into downloads and find an image you've downloaded. You can go into the name of your phone, which shows all the files on your phone. And then you can go into a specific folder there and find the image. Or another really cool option is if your image is stored on Google Photos or something, and it's not actually on your phone, down here, you'll see all these options like Google Drive and Google Photos. So if you want, you can just tap on Google Photos and then you'll be able to go into Google Photos and find the image in there you want to mirror. And then it will download it to your phone so that you can mirror it on your phone. So that's really handy, but the image is actually on Timmy's phone. So Timmy's just going to tap the plus button and then in recents here, tap on the image Timmy wants to mirror. So now once you've opened up the image like this, you just need to tap tools down the bottom here. And in this menu, you'll just need to find the rotate tool and tap on that. And now when you're in rotate, there'll be a mirror button down the bottom here. So if you tap this icon, that icon there, tap that, it will mirror your image. So as you can see, every time Timmy taps it, the image gets flipped around. So that's really cool. And then once you've mirrored your image, you can just tap the tick down here and you'll be back in Snapseed with the image mirrored now. And now you just need to tap export. So when you tap export, you can tap save to save a copy of your photo. And that's probably what you'll want to do. It'll save a new copy of your mirrored image and you'll still have the original if you wanted. And of course you could delete the original later if you don't want to keep it. Or you can do stuff like exporting it in a different size or something, but that's all just sort of more difficult than it needs to be. Really, you just want to tap save here and it will save your mirrored image. So now, you can go out of Snapseed and if your phone has a gallery app, you can go into that and see your mirrored image. Or if you just want to open up Google Photos and see it in there, you might notice it hasn't appeared here yet. The first time you save an image from Snapseed, you'll need to go into library and then under photos on device here, you'll see the image has been saved into a specific folder named Snapseed. And that folder is not backing up to Google Photos. So you'll just need to tap on that folder and turn on backup and sync here. And now if you go into photos, you'll see you have your original and your new mirrored image. And that will now back up to Google Photos and be there. So. That's really cool. And now you have your mirrored image, even if your phone doesn't have a gallery app or doesn't have a mirror feature in the gallery app. And it will be backed up to Google Photos like this. And now every time you mirror another image in Snapseed, it will automatically appear and back up in Google Photos. But if your phone keeps automatically mirroring selfies and making everything look weird, you don't have to do this process to correct the selfie every time you take one. You can actually stop it from doing that in the first place by changing a simple setting in the camera app. And Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.